Hello, everybody, and welcome to today's Product Spotlight, where we share products that will impact your farming operation. Today, we have Gavin Betker joining us from Farmcaster. How are you, Gavin? Hey, I'm doing good, thanks. How are you? Good. I am so excited for you to be on the show and joining us to share more about your software. So why don't we dive right in and get you to share more about Farmcaster? Okay, yeah, I'd love to. So Farmcaster is a financial analysis software program that helps farmer make better management decisions. So it's based on your previous years of financial data. So that's the foundation. And then from there, you have the context. It gives you context and analysis for making better decisions. So farms, farmers and farms make lots of decisions all of the time. And having a better understanding of your financial position and some of the impacts of those decisions will help you make, make better ones. Uh, so Farmcaster is all about understanding the past, managing in the present, and making plans for the future. Okay, perfect. So there are other softwares out there, accounting programs. Why did you guys create Farmcaster? Okay, well, um, that's a great question. So, um, you know, compared to, uh, you know, 20 years ago, or, or even if you want to go a little bit further uh, uh, past than that, uh, farms today are uh, generally bigger and more complex. And so farmers need to be more in touch with their financial position. You know, the, the risk is higher, the investment is higher. And so while farmers also don't want to become accountants or a lot of them don't want to become professional bookkeepers, they do know, they do want to know uh, more and more what's going on financially, you know, at all times, uh, not just a year end. Um, they want to have their finger on the pulse of what's going on in their financial uh, position. So they want to take a little bit more control over their strategic direction and financial performance is is uh, under underpins that uh, to a, to a great degree so they want to be more in tune with where they are uh, where they're going to go and how they're going to get there so um, compared to the other solutions out there we just saw a gap between the financial tools uh, as, as you know that were out there and what farmers uh, wanted um, there is there are there's a lot of complementary tools that uh, can do things that Farmcaster doesn't do, and Farmcaster fills a gap in 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 a lot of ways. So that's why we developed it, and um, and and that's why we 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 uh, we like it, and we want to present it today. Excellent. I am very excited to have you on the show. Like you know, we also run the Impact Farming Show, where we bring people and ideas that will impact. Uh, farmers and their farming operation. Now here, I know we were chatting and you guys gave me a demo of Farmcaster in advance and it's an excellent product. And if you think of it, farm operations, there's some big farming operations and some of the farmers just don't have those tools to make decisions. And that's what I really like about about the software and why I had you guys on to share a little bit more. So I would love if you can dive in and share a little bit more about some features, benefits, functionality to give our audience a taste of what Farmcaster does. Okay, that sounds great. Um, I've got three things ready to share. Um, I, we're not going to have time to go through the whole program, but I've got three uh, takeaways and and uh, that show nicely uh, on the screen uh, that I think would, would would make for a good product spotlight. So um, if I can just go ahead and share my screen, we can we can look at those. Okay, is that showing up? Perfect. Okay. So, like I said, uh, we're not going to show the whole the whole program. Um, later on, we'll we'll give some details as to how um, you know viewers can get more information and 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 book a demo, and I can show them the whole program. But for today, um, I'll just give a quick quick overview, and I'll show you three things. Uh, so this is the main home screen that a farmer uh, is using the program would log in and see. And this is kind of like a portal into the different parts of the program. Um, so again, not showing everything, but what I do want to show um, is uh, some of the reporting that we have, some of the visual reporting, because, you know, looking at numbers is good. Um, sometimes seeing the visual representation can really be an eye opener. Um, and underpinning then 
a lot of uh, financial analysis is ratio analysis. So taking your past financial statements and uh, calculating different uh, calculations that tell you different things about what's going on on the farm. So we have these ratios that get calculated in Farmcaster. There's 19 of them here, and they're broken down into four main categories of liquidity analysis. So your cash flow, your short-term cash flow and obligations, solvency, a little bit more about the balance sheet, about liabilities and assets and what you owe and what you own, a little bit, little bit of a longer-term look at the balance sheet. Uh, profitability, which is, you know, your return on ass assets, return on equity. And then finally, the financial efficiency uh, uh, ratios that get calculated mostly from the income statement. And, and I want to focus today on one that I think is more and more relevant all the time, which is uh, working capital percentage or working capital um, and it's a, it's a liquidity measure. And as, you know, as margins get tighter all the time and competition gets uh, more intense, uh, cash flow and cash management becomes more and more important. Now, just to give the viewers a quick uh, overview of this particular ratio, so we know what we're looking at. Uh, working capital is your current assets minus your current liabilities. That's what working capital value is. So there would be a number. Let's say we have $100 in current assets and $50 of current liabilities, we'd have $50 of, current, of, of uh, working capital. Working capital as a percentage is a percentage of your expected cash needs. So what we expect to need for working capital. So how much do we have as far as working capital compared to what we think we might need? And so generally, um, a, good, a good position would be 50% or higher. And, and as volatility and risk increases, um, you know, we, we see a need to increase that uh, maybe even a little bit higher than that. But the, the general industry standard that we have and that we display in Farmcaster is 50%. And here you're starting to see um, different benchmarks that you can compare your farm's performance to. So this is context, right? That what we talked about earlier. This is context for your decisions. So you can see your past performance. You can see that. You know, this farm, which is a real farm that we've just, we've changed the name, um, the, this farm's performance is what we would consider in a good position. But you can see the trend line. It's, it's, it's going down. So it's, uh, even though it's in a good position, we see that maybe the trend line is, is a bit concerning. So that's one benchmark. And it's, it's what we call the best benchmark is your own past performance. It's great to compare yourself to industry standards and to other farms, but really your own past performance because no two farms are alike. It's great to compare yourself to others, but comparing yourself to your own performance is really important. So this is their past performance. This is our industry standard benchmark. And then we can run some average, some aggregate um, uh, totals from the farms in our network. And so if I click on this uh, toggle here, this brings up the average of all the farms in our network. And so you can see this, this farm is also outperforming uh, those farms. So uh, to answer the, so the first spotlight that I wanted to show is the benchmark. So you can, you can see the trends of your own farm over the past five years, and you can uh, then take action to either take advantage of a strength or address a, a, pro a problem or a, or a weakness. Fantastic. Okay, so then second is, uh, again, another further uh, context for decision making is we start to analyze the impact of those decisions. So what if, you know, what if scenarios, so scenario analysis, um, what if we do something like buy land? Um, what if we uh, buy a new, uh, some new equipment, say a, a, a sprayer, a crop sprayer? Um, you know, we've got a couple of those up here on the screen that we can look at. Um, seeing the visual impact of those decisions can be a really good first look at the feasibility, the viability of those decisions. And then if it looks good, we can take that and translate that into full farm analysis and a full, say, uh, projected budget. And there's another area in Farmcaster that, that does that. We have a a really comprehensive cash flow budgeting tool, but but what I wanted to show because it you know it's it's a good takeaway and it and, it, and it, it's a quick one that I can show on a product spotlight is the what if scenario analysis. So Farmcaster is like I mentioned earlier based on your past performance, and the first thing that we do is we calculate a forecast, 
And a forecast, you know, it's built right into the name. A forecast is taking your past performance and just kind of extrapolating that into the future without the changes yet. I'm going to get to the scenarios in just a second, but first we want to establish a baseline. So if we were to, to, you know, to continue on without doing the decision, where are we tracking? And this farm is profitable. So their forecast is to accrue some more working capital over the coming years. This is what the forecast says. And, and, and but reality is going to be more like this because as we get up to 150, 175% working capital, the reality is that we would probably reinvest that back into the farm and we, we would do things like buy some land or, or upgrade our, our equipment. So the first thing to do is to establish, establish this baseline for reference, this, this forecast. And then, and then what we do is we, we can put in our what if scenario analysis and, and what if we, we buy the rented land. And remember, we're just looking at one of the 19 different ratios here, but we're looking at our working capital and you can see the hit that making the down payment on that land. Visually, you can see that and what it does to your working capital percentage. And so it comes a lot down, a lot closer to that industry standard. And depending on the farmer's um, you know, risk tolerance, that might be too close. They may not want to do that. Um, you know, uh, we can also compare that to uh, some targets that uh, that the user will have set. And so you can see that we're still above the industry standard, but we're below the target that they want to have for working capital percentage. So, uh, you know, we talked about benchmarking and then the second one here is these what ifs. And so uh, that's another one that I wanted to show you, uh, the ability to do this what if scenario planning. Fantastic. Okay, and so the third one then that I wanted to show you is uh, cash flow budgeting. So the idea here is answering the question of uh, what are what are what do our plans pre pre present as far as our monthly cash position coming up in 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 the in the upcoming year. Okay. Uh, we have we start with our opening cash position and our opening um, current assets and 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 all of our, our farms structure and then we we look at our production and how uh, the timing of the cash inflows and outflows uh, are going to present themselves on a on a monthly net cash position and if you just uh, bear with me for one second I'm going to stop sharing for one quick sec and then I'll bring up the cash flow that I wanted to show you. This is really powerful data. Thanks. Yeah. Well, we're. We, I always really like to see the um, the users and with their eyes light up when they see the visual representation of it. Um, it's one thing to look at your financial statements or you know in an Excel format or a paper format, but when you get to see the ratios presented in a visual format and you see those trend lines, it um, it really uh, it, it's it, it just it hits different. Right. Pictures work <laughs> sounds and words, right? There you go. That's There's what I was going for. With a chart, a picture that just puts it into real life. And I agree. You can look at the financials or those ratios just on paper, but it's totally different when you're looking at the chart and seeing year over year and then forecasting. So that's really neat. Okay. I've got the cash flow here ready and I'll just share again. Perfect. And um, yeah, and again, just for uh, product spotlight uh, purposes, I just wanted to show the main takeaway. There is some work that needs to be done to set up your cash flow, and anyone who's done a cash flow will will know that. Um, you know, it takes it takes planning, and you know, we're, we're looking at the at the takeaways and the cash position of those you know detailed plants. Like this is the full farm analysis. So the scenario planning that I showed you, that's a quick a quick look at some of the ideas. And then if those ideas look promising, that's when we would suggest going into then a full detailed uh, cash flow budget. And so um, based on the work that you do to set it up, the program will show you your opening cash position for the month, your cash inflow for the month, your cash outflow for the month, and then your net cash position. And if this number were negative, that means that you're starting to dip then into your operating loan. Okay. So this farm is in a pretty healthy cash flow position, but you can see that in a couple of the months in uh, July and August that things start to get a little bit tighter. And having that knowledge in advance so that you can go to your lender um, and, and, and talk about an operating loan or maybe talk about 
Um, you know, the rate that you're getting on your operating loan, maybe you need to increase the size of your operating loan. Those discussions that you need to have with your lenders um, go way better if you're able to do them in advance. So that's the idea behind the cash flow budgeting. I love it. Do you have an example that you can share with us, Gavin? Are you going to share your screen? Oh, my, my apologies. I thought I was. That's okay. <laughs> okay, there it is. Um, there we go. Yeah. All right. So when I was saying um, how, you know, you've got your opening cash position, that's just what I, I had my mouse right over this line here. Okay. And then you've got your cash inflows, your cash outflows, and your net cash position for each month. And then when I mentioned July and August for this farm was a little bit tighter, um, we have we have this uh, these two numbers here. So July and August are just a little tighter. So it's probably good to know that in advance. This is powerful. You know what? Mm -hmm. Right now, for one of my businesses, I do this all manually with Excel. <laughs> <laughs> it works, but this is powerful. Mm -hmm. This uh, this this uh, this is one of the spots in the program that we can actually export this. So you do the planning in Farmcaster, and then you can export this to Excel. So if you do want to take it and then um, layer on some other analysis, um, you know, we, we we can we have some exporting uh, features that you can take this data out and uh, and then uh, further analyze it if you need to. Okay. Thanks for sharing mm -hmm. that. Yeah. And so those were the three things. So just to recap, it's the, uh, the benchmarking. And remember, it's not just benchmarking against others, but benchmarking against your own past performance compared to some industry standards. The second thing that I wanted to show was the what if scenarios. So you can see the visual impact of your what if scenarios, you know, buying land, buying equipment, et cetera. You could do things in there. The what ifs can be things like um, what if uh, markets uh, have a downturn? Or what if we have some uh, some other uncertain events like weather events, too much rain or, or, or drought it will affect yields. So, you know, you could put the impact of those what if scenarios into the program and look at the visual impact of those. And then based on those scenarios, if something, you know, looks promising and you want to get into the more full farm analysis and the cash flow, we have that tool uh, built into the program for you as well. Okay, perfect. I, have, I actually have a few questions for you, Gavin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. From watching the demo. Thanks for sharing. So there might be people in the audience going, okay, well, I already have agriculture software or mm -hmm. a bookkeeping program. Mm -hmm. And not all of us geek out about agriculture software. So I think I'm going to ask a very legitimate question. Does this replace an accounting software or does it complement? Because to me, this seems like 2.0, it builds on. Oh, just so you're absolutely right. Yes. Okay. So Farmcaster, just to be clear, doesn't do the journal entries. So we don't record the transactions. We don't uh, we don't keep the journal that the accounting and bookkeeping software does. Um, but it, it takes that information right and then it builds on that so once you have your year end and you have your uh, you know income statement and balance sheet back from your account we put that information into farmcaster and we use that to to make our decisions so to to we use that context to analyze the the ratios we use that information to to analyze the ratios so um, it complements you absolutely got that right tracy it's all the way back to kind of your first question or if it was the second one, I can't remember, but it was um, why did we create the software? Well, that's, that's the gap, right? So we, we have lots of financial information coming to us. We have further analysis that Farmcaster can provide with that information. Excellent. Well, and an example of how this discussion with you guys came about, we are looking at acquiring more land. And I was saying that I'm about to sit down and take my Excel spreadsheet and then do what if scenarios. And then you guys said, well, hey, let me introduce you to Farmcaster. So listening to you and seeing the demo and watching this, I'm sitting here going, okay, if you want to be a, far, a very savvy farm manager, this takes your data and figures out your ratios. It helps you do what if scenarios. And I'm going to ask you another question. This is probably stuff that would blow the socks off of a banker, wouldn't it? Like if I came in 
with a proposal asking for a loan going, here's my ratios and the what if scenarios, I would probably blow their mind, wouldn't I? Well, <laughs> probably. And we have experience with that. Yeah. And, um, you know, uh, it, it's, it's, it's really, really well received by a lot of different external stakeholders uh, that have, you know, a vested interest in the farm's performance and, and lenders are definitely one of them. But for example, non-farming family members or um, other, other shareholders, um, you know, uh, you know your, lo- your lawyer or your legal team what might, might want to be interested in how you're doing on uh, in your financial performance, but definitely the lender. I, I mean, I... I, uh, I, I used a couple other examples. Back to your, real, your, your question, lenders love it when a farmer can come to them with a plan backed up by their own numbers and their plans. It, 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 you know, the, the numbers and the plans are important, but it shows that you are taking your management and your financial management seriously, and that's just huge. Uh, lenders love it. And um, another uh, segment of the farming kind of community that lo- lo- would be get a, a lot out of Farmcaster are other farm advisors. So you might be watching and thinking, okay, this is still great, but I'm not comfortable, you know, going in and around uh, software and, and, and I don't quite understand it enough. But maybe you get some financial advice from a, a farm advisor. And I would welcome anybody who kind of provides those types of consultative services to give us a call too. Um, and I know, um, and I know that uh, maybe some users are thinking, well, how do I share the information? Well, it's, it's, up, it's, it's totally up to you. You can either share access to the program if you're comfortable doing that, or uh, you can generate reports and share the information that way. So it's it's quite uh, flexible and customizable that way. Um, but yeah, that's all uh, that's that's all part of uh, what we've built in. You know what? You hit the nail on the head and took the words right out of my mouth. We have a lot of advisors that come on the Impact Farming Show and watch the show and tune into segments like this. I'm sitting here going, this would be a fantastic tool for farm advisors to input their clients' data and automatically generate those ratios. One of the outstanding to-do items I have on my list for the farm is actually, and I told Terry I was going to do it a long time ago, so don't tell, don't tell, but I've wanted to figure out our ratios for the farm, and I haven't done it because how tedious is that saying there? figuring out all those ratios. So I'm excited for a software like this. Once the data is in there, click of a button, figure out the ratios. Is it honestly that easy? It takes, it it takes a little bit of setup and we have some solutions that help with that. So we can actually help you with your setup. We can do some of the data entry for you. Um, But if you're comfortable entering your data, um, we, we recommend five years. And so that takes a couple of hours to get the data in. But then once you have it in, uh, every year that goes by, it's just one other year. And that could be as quick as 20 minutes, half an hour. Um, so so it, it, it requires a bit of setup. But like most things, you, it, you get out of it what you put into it. So you enter your past financial performance, and then you have access to all of that analysis. Yes, the program just calculates the ratios once the data is in there. Um, it's it's great. You don't have to worry about making a mistake in your formula. You don't have to worry about which version of your spreadsheet is the most current. Um, you know, it's 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 cloud based. Um, every time that you kind of click save as you're working in the program, it's it's updating your data in the database. So um, you don't have to save a version or anything like that. You just log in and log out, and and then that's that's uh, you know it's quite user friendly that way. Nice. Okay. Well, that was wonderful to get that demo. Thank you. So we chatted about who it's for, some of the functionality, the fact that it really complements and takes your numbers to a whole nother level, which is amazing for these big farm operators out there to have that information handy. There's something about that chart and those numbers that, well, picture provides a thousand words, right? Sometimes if you're visual, if you're not a numbers person and what, only 25% of the population are truly number people, for the rest of us to have those graphs, you know what, they provide an image that numbers on a paper just don't, right? You can go, oh, wow. Yeah, I've seen those numbers there, but oh, wow, I'm on a downward trend or upward. So I really like that. Yeah. And so, and, and, 
like you said, maybe only 25% are, are wired that way, but I want to shout out to those 25% uh, of the population as well. So I kind of showed you just the visuals with the, you know, the, your, your, your income statements and your balance sheet and the calculations that uh, underpin the racial calculations. They're all there for you too. Um, we just don't have time to show uh, everything uh, in a product spotlight. I know I did a whole one hour demo with you and it was fantastic. You showed me a lot of great stuff. So yeah. I'm excited. Just that little snippet there will show the audience how powerful that is, right? Yeah, that's the idea. And so on that topic, you know, I, I would welcome anybody to uh, go to our website. It's farmcastersoftware.com and you can use the contact us page to book a demo. And then I'd be happy to show you the program. Demos take the actual demo part takes about 30 to 45 minutes. Uh, and then uh, we'll have lots of room for questions and answers and, uh, and we can go from there. I think that's a wonderful wrap up there. Unless you have anything further, did you want anything to add that? I do, I do. Can I take okay. another couple minutes? Absolutely, I'm not in a rush, this is great. <laughs> Okay. That, that was just uh, such a nice wrap up right there. I'm like, okay, Gavin, if you're done, try and top that. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's just, it's, it's an important topic that um, I think some people might be thinking about as they look um, at, a, at a product spotlight on financial information. And we use the word data, uh, or if you say data, I, I, I go back and forth data, data. Um, but you might be concerned about uh, privacy and security of your, of your data. And I just wanted to touch on that in case there's people uh, watching and thinking about that. Um, so, yeah, um, we, uh, we don't share your data with anybody. Um, we do use it to calculate aggregate benchmarks. So we will um, just average and, and calculate the averages for the different farms in the program. But nobody would obviously ever see your data um, unless you choose choose or chose to share your um, access with, you know, maybe your lender or your accountant or your farm advisor. Um, that's completely up to you and you have complete control of that. Um, it's cloud-based software. It's, uh, it's secure, uh, like it's on a secured protocol. And, um, and, if, and if for those of you who are really in tune with your data and your data privacy, and good for you, um, our servers are in Canada, so they fall under the Canadian data uh, protection uh, policies and, and laws out there. And so I uh, wanted to share that with anyone who's watching. Thank you. You must have read Tracy's Mind or watched some Impact Farming episodes because data security is really important to me. And another one I like to talk about because on the Impact Farming show and in segments like this, we're talking about our farm numbers mm -hmm. and whether our farm does amazingly well or we have bad years. Sometimes we get very personal about that. Mm -hmm. And I know when I've wanted to hire advisors or coaches, I'm like, well, I don't want to hire them because they're going to look at my information and it's not going to be good enough. So you touched on the data security, but I also wanted to touch on something that even I'm concerned about when I look at products and dealing with different individuals. When I input my data into the software and you touched on it a little bit, Farmer Tracy wants to make sure that somebody there at Farmcaster is not sitting there looking at all my information and sharing it with anybody. This is my confidential information that goes into my software program, right? Yeah. Um, at, at Farmcaster software, we want, we want, we want you to feel uh, c comfortable and, and secure that, the, that, that your data is, is not accessed for any other reason than to provide support uh, to you if you need it. So, for example, if you're having some trouble uh, with a certain area of the program, we, we have uh, support is included. Uh, support is limited to use of the program. If you start asking questions about, well, what should I do on my farm to increase this ratio? Uh, or we're not here to provide that support. You need to go talk to your financial advisor, your lender, um, or, or some other farm management advisor. But in those circumstances, we may share screens and, and help you with that. So that's just up to you um, as to uh, when that might happen. Um, but, um, but other than that, I mean, it's, it's a concern. Um, and, and thanks for asking that question, but um, we're, we're here to support you. And if, um, if, you're, if you're a little bit, bit shyer to share that, then that's, that's up to you. And maybe we just have a discourse over email or the phone and we don't share screens. And that, that would just be up to you. 
Yeah, so if we're not sharing with anybody, our information just goes into the software program, right? Yeah, and, and, and you have your username and password, and if you keep that uh, secure and just to yourself, then you're going to be the only one that sees that. Okay. I tend to bring it up, and I imagine there's people in the audience that feel the same way. I'm not even an overly shy person. I'm pretty comfortable sharing. So if I feel that, I always like to bring that up because people are probably going, wow, I would love software like this to sit down and calculate those ratios or do what if scenarios. Everything you talked about is good, but oh my gosh, my information. So maybe I'm a weirdo, but I wanted to address that for myself and the audience. Yeah, you won't be the only one thinking that. Uh, there's, there's just no way. So um, if, if people are, or if you have follow-up questions to anything that we've talked about today, just, yeah, please just go to... Um, uh, maybe I'll just bring it up here quick. Go to uh, let's do one more shout out. And again, I will put all the details and links and everything in the show notes as well. But give our audience one last shout out on where they can find more information. Yeah, so here's our website, farmcastersoftware.com. This is where you can take a quick look at our features, our pricing. Um, you know, there's a portal to log in from here as well. And uh, yeah, uh, there's contact information here to, to book a demo. Uh, please take a look and uh, reach out and I'd be happy to uh, talk to you about uh Fantastic. Thank you so much, Gavin. I really appreciated this. I think for farmers and farm advisors, this is going to be a very powerful tool. And I know the ones that already use it, love it. So thank you for sharing. Thank you for spending your time. I really appreciate it. And for you in the audience, I hope you enjoyed this just as much as I did. If you did, share it out there because so many farmers can benefit from software like this. Thanks again for joining us, Gavin. Thank you. And thank you for joining us in the audience as well. Thank you guys. Bye.